Sea stars, crabs, and snails, oh my. Aboard the Maritime Aquarium's popular sea cruises, you can learn all about the Long Island Sound while getting an up-close and personal look at the creatures that live in it. But today, we're bringing those animals to you. Joining me now are Bridget Cabral and Nikki Rosenfeld, both crew members and educators at the Aquarium. Ladies, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for bringing some friends, too. We're going to get to that in just a moment. But Bridget, every day, there is a boat that yep. leaves from the Aquarium, yep. and it's open to the public. Yep. Tell us what goes on. Yeah, so so currently we have the RV Oceanic. We go every day at 1 o'clock. Um, we do various samples and get an idea of the animals and the organisms living in Long Island Sound. Great. Uh, but come this Columbus Day weekend, there's a new boat that's coming to town. And tell us about that one. Yeah, so we're very excited for the new RV Spirit of the Sound. It'll be double our capacity of our current boat. Nice new catamaran. Mm -hmm. We'll be continuing our cruises as well as adding some no some new ones. That's great. And we're looking at some pictures. Seems like everyone's having oh, a great yeah. time. <laughs> I'm assuming there's class trips, that type of thing, that come mm -hmm. out on the boat. Uh, and is this a year-round Thanks. It is. So we do public cruises every day in the summer, um, July and August. And then during the year, we have public on Saturday, and we have uh, school groups coming out with us as well, including in the winter. So Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's, um, let's talk about some of the animals that you sure. brought here. This is kind of like an activity you could do on the boat, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are uh, kind of an array of animals that we commonly and typically catch, although we make no guarantees, never know what we'll bring up. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, just, just yeah. Let's start. What do you have over here? Yeah, so over here we have some examples of some mollusks or some um, shellfish that we commonly catch. This is a eastern oyster, very common specifically to Norwalk. We have the oyster festival. It's sure. um, very important commercially and delicious for some people. We have <laughs> <laughs> some snails too. This little mud snail, yeah, little, little periwinkle. Yeah, and then this. Although it's a, a mollusk shell inside is a um, flat claw hermit crab. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can see a there. claw in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to talk about that. Sure. So, another animal that we commonly pull up on our cruises is our little cute spider crabs. Oh, so, they so actually, cute. <laughs> Nikki, yeah. <little. laughs> they decorate their shells to help them camouflage at the bottom of the sound. So, that's kind of one thing that makes them unique. Mm -hmm. You guys actually fish off the boat, don't you, occasionally? We, well, we have a net. We, everything goes back. Everything goes um, back. But we'll right. teach about it. But we do have a net, and we do catch lots of fish as I well. Think I saw yeah. Some little sharks, little mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we've had a lot of um, smooth dogfish this summer. Dogfish, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's very exciting. Okay, yeah. Let's move over here because these guys are pretty sure. active. Yeah. Sure. So at the, another crab that we have is a rock crab. So some, we've gotten these, they're a little bit deeper. Um, so, and they kind of, yeah, a little bit more feisty than the spider <laughs> crab, but yeah. that's who that is. Um, this is kind of our most popular crab, I would say. This is a horseshoe crab. Um, they're found, you know, right here in Long Island Sound. We typically see them on the beaches um, late spring, early summer. They're coming up to mate, mm -hmm. so... People We're going to see more of them, right? Yes, absolutely. And they're tagged, right? So it's kind of in interesting. Tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, so this tag, it's um, a program that is through Sacred Heart called Project Limulus. And volunteers go out and they kind of are their own little biologists and they tag these. And each tag has an identifying number and a phone number. And if you ever find one on the beach, dead or alive, call um, the number and they'll just ask a few questions and helps to track where the crabs sure. are traveling to. And I've never seen a snail this active. It actually came out of its shell over here. <laughs> yes, our channeled whelk has been quite yeah. active this morning. So these usually would be buried down in the bottom. This is something we'd pick up in our dredge on our boat. Okay. Um, and of course, as I pick him up, he's going to go into right our shell. In. Yeah, as defense. But um, yeah, very cool snail. Very good. And why is it so important that kids have an opportunity to see these animals firsthand? It's so, so important. It's part of our mission at the aquarium. Um, we hope that kind of knowing what's underneath you in the water, even if you're on a boat, kind of will help you um, be more interested and work to conserve it. So, mm -hmm. All right. I think we're looking at pictures of the new boat, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Wow. So obviously you can fit more people on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's going to double our capacity. It's going to be a little bit of a smoother ride because it is bigger, a nice catamaran. So. Fantastic. Yeah, some more deck space as mm -hmm. well to be outside. So. Yeah. Very good. Well, we'll look for that Columbus Day weekend. Yes. Uh, and for more information on the Maritime Aquarium at Norwalk and their new research vessel, the Spirit of the Sound, that's what you were just looking at, <laughs> call 203-852-0700 or visit MaritimeAquarium.org. Ladies, thanks for being here and bringing these guys. Yes, Thank you for having so us.